Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to be using Python to solve the Euler-Lagrange equation for the simple pendulum system that we saw in the last video. We're going to be using a library called SymPy. This is a free library that lets us do symbolic calculus and symbolic algebra using Python. So if you haven't, go to their website and install it. Okay, let's get started by importing SymPy and then running this initv printing function. This just gives us nice LaTeX output here in our Jupyter notebook. Okay, so let's get started by defining some constants, mg and l, as well as a time variable. So these are going to be some symbols, mg, l, t. And then theta, this is a function of time. So we're going to use dynamic symbols. So x, m, as we saw in the last video, is just going to be l sine theta. Y is going to be minus L cosine theta, and then take some derivatives. So let's do that. YM dot is going to be derivative of YM. Theta dot is going to be derivative of theta. And then theta double dot is going to be derivative of theta dot. All right. So let's do a kinetic energy now. This is going to be 1 half MV squared. So XM dot squared plus ym dot squared. Our kinetic energy is going to be mgh, so mgym. Other uh, than our Lagrangian, of course, is going to be t minus v. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. Perfect. So our other Lagrange equation is listed right here. Let's type that into our code. So this equation is going to be derivative l theta dot dt minus dl d theta. And so in, in SymPy, whenever we have an equation, it's assumed that this expression right here is equal to zero. And so that's what we see above in our math. Let's go ahead and solve that. So our solution is going to be solve equation for theta double dot. And if we print out a solution right here, we see we get a list of all the different solutions to this equation. So we're only interested in this first solution, because that's the only one. So let's just go ahead and pull, and pull that one out. So running answers again, we see that our solution is going to be minus g sine theta over L. And I could write that nicer with this equate theta double dot to be a solution. So running that, we see theta double dot is going to be minus g sine theta over L. Okay. Last thing we're going to do is write this as a system of ODEs. So let's define our state variable x to be theta comma theta dot. And then x dot is going to be the derivative with respect to t. And then we can write x dot equals this matrix. It's going to be theta dot on top and the solution on the bottom. So running that, we see our system of ODEs. So this system of ODEs is important because we're going to give this to Python in the next video to simulate our system. Okay, let's do a quick recap of everything that we did today. So first we started by importing SymPy and then enabling LaTeX output. Then we defined M, G, L, and T as well as our dynamic symbol theta. We defined XM and YM. We took some derivatives and then we found our Lagrangian. From there, all we had to do was plug into the Euler Lagrange equation and then solve to get theta double dot. Then we wrote this as a system of ODEs. As always, if you found this helpful, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.